If you follow me on Twitter, a few weeks ago you would have seen me post this goofy photo of myself at the Activision offices. And I said there that uh, I had some very exciting news to announce, but I couldn't do so yet. Well, finally, I'm allowed to announce that news. And the news is, I'm actually going to Los Angeles to play Destiny 2 on May 18th. And the good news is that I'm not the only one doing that. The gameplay reveal that we knew was occurring on the 18th of May isn't just the normal live stream that you might have expected. It's in fact a star-studded extravaganza with uh, the who's who of the Destiny community invited to LA for a hands-on session with Destiny 2 with full capture enabled. I'm literally going to be able to play Destiny for a good four or five hours, I've been told, and I'll be able to capture almost all of it while I do it. At the same time, I'm gonna get my hands on both the console version of the game and the PC version. That has been confirmed that I will actually get my hands on the PC version as well. So I'll be able to give you hands-on impressions for how the game has translated from the console to the PC experience. For you watching at home, I guess there's a few Few things you should expect. The first is the live stream event kicks off at uh, 10 a.m. on the 18th of May. It is uh, in Los Angeles, but it's only to select invitees. Everyone else will have to watch it on Twitch or some other live platform, no doubt. So uh, be ready to tune in at uh, 10 a.m. Los Angeles time to be able to watch that. I'm informed that goes for quite a while as well. They weren't specific with how long that would go for, but they did say it was going to be a fairly sizable chunk of time. After that, all of the uh, YouTubers and streamers and personalities and celebrities and whoever else they choose to invite are going to go hands-on with Destiny for a good uh, a good few hours and they're going to be able to capture the whole thing. Now the way these things work is that there are embargo dates set after an event occurs and that gives everyone time to go home, to edit their footage and to put it up uh, all at once so that no one has an unfair advantage. So you can probably expect the embargo date to be on around the 20th or 21st of, uh, of May and that's when we'll start seeing tons and tons of uh, YouTube slash streamer generated content hitting YouTube and other platforms talking about what their experiences were like in uh, you know playing Destiny, playing it hands-on. This of course might not be the case they might not have an embargo whatsoever and they may just say, hey, everyone's seen it now. Uh, they can do whatever kind of contact they like, whenever they like, I don't know, we'll see. But uh, but my guess is you'll have to wait a few days before you start seeing videos from, uh, from YouTubers and the like. It's really great that Bungie have chosen to go down this path in my recent review of uh, Destiny. I called out the fact that the community in this game is particularly awesome uh, and the fact that they're gonna get all of the community together pretty much to be able to experience this game firsthand and talk about their experiences with fans I think is a really great start to the game. It absolutely sets the right flavor for what we're going to see going forward. There aren't any other details to speak of at this point really. There's uh, That's pretty much all of it. I will say though that on the invitation that I received, it did have this image at the bottom of the invitation. And uh, I'm no expert, but that looks like a dead ghost to me. We have a pretty clear indication from uh, what Bungie's been saying that you know we're probably going to lose all of our powers, uh, our specializations and our abilities and the like, and we probably need to regain those throughout the course of the campaign. Our ghosts dying is a very popular theory as to why we might have lost our light. So uh, this dead ghost at the bottom of this invitation that I was sent is perhaps another clue that lends a lot of credibility to that theory. But of course, it's just a theory. I'm just offering it up there because uh, I thought it was a little bit interesting. Guys, I'm super excited to be able to go and play hands-on with Destiny 2 uh, before its release is just an incredible opportunity. Uh, and I wouldn't have that invitation from Activision were it not for you guys. If I wasn't someone that had an audience uh, and if you guys weren't watching my videos, then uh, there's no way I'd be in that room especially given the fact that I'm a much smaller YouTube channel than a lot of the other ones are going to be there. So I just want to say thank you very much for all your support. I've just hit 150,000 subscribers. Uh, and while I've stepped away from The Division, which was my game that I was covering historically, um, it's just wonderful to see so many people sticking with me as I cover different games and talking about the gaming industry. It's just been really wonderful. So thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to work very hard on that trip to bring you all of the news that I can and give you the best possible coverage that uh, that I can so uh, look forward to that guys thank you very much take good care and I'll see you next time bye bye